nice to see a different face. I was beginning to feel we were alone out here. Oh, they're gonna come for me. A living human at our club? Now isn't that something? Something best for the occasion. Where did I screw up? Very snazzy. What is that godforsaken smell? I thought I told the. I've said, Mrs. Russo, the facilities are available to responders and refugees. I am respond. I deeply apologize for the commotion, darling. We do strive to make every visit to the White Spring a pleasant one. Finally, you've arrived. I was resigned to having to convince this lunatic that my daughter is dying all by myself. Do you know this woman? Ah, wonderful. I believe an apology is an order. Apologies are order to those who deserve them. <clears throat> Nonetheless, it behooves the refuge to help those in need. Perhaps you could provide more coherent details? regarding this woman's conundrum. In that case, you will be happy to hear that the leaders of Atlantic City are sponsoring travel for visitors. You might speak to Mr. Jeremiah Hopkins about it, if you haven't already. He has a booth out in the common area, beside the stage. So long as you're willing to provide assistance to the locals during your travels, you may fly to Atlantic City whenever you'd like. Incredible. Was that so difficult? You're graciously welcome for the flight, Mrs. Russo. Now I'm afraid I have other duties to attend to. Lennox shall be happy to board you once your preparations are complete. Excuse me. It baffles me how you're able to deal with that person. I mean, where are they from? The 17th century? Wonderful. I'll be having a drink at the bar until our departure. I'll need it to get me through that dreadful flight. Excuse me! Sorry to interrupt you. I just heard you were going to Atlantic City, and I, uh... It's not safe there. There's a monster. I saw it. People keep going missing. That's why I left. You're not mouthing off about some Jersey devil, are you? What a load of hogwash. My parents told me that story when I was a child to scare me into submission. Well, it didn't work. And no Jersey devil has snatched me from my bed. It's real, I swear! They're siphoning its blood and turning it into a drug. That's why it's so angry now. Marketing tactics. What would you name a cam that's supposed to be the ultimate temptation? Would you call it innocent angel milk? Siphoning blood. 
No sensible business person would put in all that effort, even if the Jersey Devil was real. Loud tourists, low-tier entertainers, showgoers on their way home from the pier. The devil swoops down from the sky and swallows them whole. The perfect cover story to disappear anyone in convenience. <laughs> that devil almost got me too! Oh, good thing I fled to the mountains! At least I warned you. Better for my conscience. Keep your eyes on the skies. Always smell like this? You would think in a city people could find a civilized place to relieve themselves. Oh. The best bet I can give you is a fellow named Stanley Soriano. <laughs> he spends all his free time at the High Rollers Lounge in the Neapolitan Casino. Stan is a weak link. Make him feel important, and he'll serve up practically anything on a silver platter. Don't wait up for me. Or actually, do. One should always have an escape plan. Personal space mean anything to you? Tell you what, this whole neighborhood's my personal space. You been eating that slop from Muni's at least? All this talk of bloat. Hey, I could be a showman. I'm real good at wiggling my ears. Heard some gunshots earlier. <laughs>
nice in here. One too many Jersey slides gone wrong. I should get out and clear my head. But now, eh, one more time. All this talk of bogeys crawling out of the barrens. What's the plan? No, the High Rollers Lounge has an exclusive entry policy. You are not on the list. You mean to tell me that other guy wasn't Stan Chaperone? You better get in there quick. I think there's a game going already. Uh, sorry for the confusion earlier. Royal Flush again? You must have the angels on your side, my friend. You mean you don't see it, Stan? He's playing you. Ain't nobody got that kind of luck. Oh, come on. You know I'd never play you, Stan. You're the man. You know what I love most about you, Stan? How much faith you put in your friends. This is ludicrous. Oh, now what you gonna do that for? You really think he was playing me? Come on, Stan. Three royal flushes in a row. Now you grab that cash and take care of your family. I'm headed out. You hear the bet? You looking at some? Tell Joey to plug Whoa the there! The now I can hook you up with all again. kinds of cats. But as for the blood, what makes you think a nobody like you should get access to Atlantic City's most sought after cap? Well, absolutely. That I do, that I do. Stan's been given an important job here the managing the stuff. And I think you deserve again. a taste of the best our city has to offer. May and Tam fancies himself the but leader. first, you'll have to prove yourself. <laughs> first of all, provide service for the family, and you'll be rewarded. Cross the family, <laughs> and you end up on our hit list. See, a young showman seen. known as Zabe stole some blood from our stores a few nights me. back. He's got a show on tonight. And those who don't respect our rules, don't get to live freely. So you want fun. the blood? What, you then that you show don't go smoothly. And Zay gets the message to never even dream about stealing from us again. Payday's become a myth round here since they put the Gavon with the belts in charge. Sounds like we haven't understand them. Now listen carefully. You're gonna have to get backstage somehow. Maybe by posing as a cast member. That's your best shot at getting access to Zay. Once you've got an opportunity, it's up to you how you want to deal with him. I'll meet you outside after the show. Don't disappoint me. The bitch. Jim fancies himself the leader of AC. <laughs> Like some old farmer's gonna whack anybody. My pa was a made man. They let you in to see me, did it. they? And his father knew he's made so much money. Go well, on through. You gotta pay the electricity. And keep an eye on Stan. How is it I've got it?
this free time and no working television. One thing I don't miss? Driving. Oh, I've seen one too many Jersey slides gone wrong. It's music. A dance with death. This city has offered all that it promised. Head down to the pier and catch a show. What if I can't remember my lines? It's better to surprise them. I'm not your tour guide. This place is a pocket of paradise. Close as we're gonna get. Welcome, welcome. Here to be amazed, shocked, and entertained. So this run by well, a tonight is our lucky. Extra. 13 customer, you and will get all of that and more for free. Congratulations. And you will not be disappointed. Please head straight inside to the stage and take care not to enter restricted areas. Uh, we may be a bit late tonight as we are still awaiting the arrival of one of our cast members. Oh, <coughs> uh, the show simply there. cannot start like, without our star oh, clown. Trust me, appear. they are worth the wait. Please enjoy the show. The soul that's oversized, not the shoe. Is that finally you? Late on opening night? Who hired you? Was it me? We'll be served on a plate to the ravenous masses with their vicious, quivering jaws. Oh, get to the stage already! They await your opening act! I'm not ready yet. I, I can't be seen like this. Not just a show, a masterpiece. An indelible memory! Go now, before... Leading rounds will be the death of me.
Have you been down to the aquarium? Oh, it's marvelous. And now, for your opening act, please welcome to the stage the funniest, the wackiest, the most diabolical, Star Clown! This zany jokester never shies from a good gag, even at their own expense. But why don't I let them show you what I mean? Of course that would bring you here, of all places. You weren't supposed to know about all this, but there's no avoiding it now. I used to be the star around here. I deserve to have it back. That stage is mine. I'm taking it from this up-and-coming nobody to remind this city exactly what they lost. Or at least, that was my plan. You being here really puts a damper on things. Then you understand why I have to do this. 
It's my only chance. I'm nothing without it. <laughs> Nonsense. They were always complaining about me, calling me a diva. Vincenzo would tell me to get out of the way so he could do things properly. I'm nothing but a failure to them. They have no appreciation. Family. Oh, I used to know what that meant once. <laughs> Nothing ever turns out quite how you imagine it. But I suppose that's no reason to stop trying, is it? <laughs> it never stops me in showbiz. <laughs> Soon. Uh, well, I don't have much time before every showman on the boardwalk is chasing after me with a machete. But before I go, the least I can do is help you help Abigail. So tell me what needs to be done. So, it's dirty business. Well, nothing new in this city. Now, the final act of this little show involves the star clown, you, throwing knives at poor Zade against a decorated backboard. There's an obvious option there, if bloodshed doesn't make you, uh, queasy. But we do know the showmen take cheating very seriously. And it just so happens that Zaid wears a protective vest underneath his costume. Puts a sour taste in my mouth, knowing exactly how that feels. But it's the showmen who are delusional, not Sade and I for valuing our own lives. I'll leave the job to you. I need to scram before Charlotte's loyal human dogs sniff me out. Classics. Where would we be without them? For hundreds of years, art has risked heart and soul. I so I close with one last visceral threat. The curve of blade to neck. <laughs> Tantalizingly close. Assistant! Master of laughs! Let loose, and don't you dare gut me! My costume, the, the, the layers. Oh, oh, it's over, mother. It's over. Oh, oh my God. They, they all see it. Oh, I've got to get out of here. Where, where can I hide? Oh, is that wearing my oversized shoes? You think just anyone can hawk and get? Trying to hurt me. 
Lips out there, paradise. I heard the news. Showman are gonna have his head. Probably would've been nicer to cut off a limb or two. As promised, a taste of the devil himself. Now, don't you go blabbing about what you got. Stan's got a tight ship to steer. Now don't you forget what Stan did for you, capiche? Tell me you have the dose. Oh, it's just a few. Well, close enough, I suppose. You're a lifesaver. All right, Abby. Down the hatch. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Then? Mom. And... <laughs> Who are you again? Feels nice. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Guess I'm in trouble again, huh? <laughs> this is just temporary. We need to find you a real solution, an antidote. You got into this abs. Do you know anything about getting off it? Well, maybe Dad would have told me if he hadn't cut me out. But that's all water under the bridge, though. Everything's dandy now. We're in West Virginia. It's a new start. No more jobs, no more Dad. Everything's... Everything's... Everything's good. It has to be. Dad? Thing is, I've tried to get answers from him about all kinds of things. But if he knows something about Devil's Blood, it has to still be in there somewhere. But maybe you'll have better luck than me. Look, I know it's awkward, but would you try talking to him? Hey. Thanks. You saved my sister's life. Are you, uh... See what you can get right, out of my father. Dear? You know, me? <laughs> you, you're really asking? Of course, darling. We're going to get you out of this conundrum. If anyone knows how to slink out of a mess, it's your mother. Never mind that there's usually another one waiting. I we'll, wonder what Pop knows. We'll tackle that 